Welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, we're going to show you the Echo Discovery Center at Truman Annex Waterfront Park in Key West, Florida. With me, Colonel Bob. At this center, we talk uh, quite a bit about how to preserve nature. You see they have exhibits on the hardwood hammocks. In the state of Florida, they have a number of campgrounds uh, that you can stay at uh, for next to nothing that are in some of the hammock areas in the center of part of the state and near the Everglades. One of the key attractions to the Florida Keys are the series of mangroves that have uh, protected the shorelines and provided a really rich environment for marine life and mammals to thrive. And they do have an exhibit here that talks about the importance of the mangroves. Of course, after we pass the mangroves, you're going to hit the beaches and the dunes, and they do discuss the benefits and importance of those areas here in the center. The Dry Tortugas is another great spot to visit. There's a boat that goes out there and you can take a seaplane uh, out to the Dry Tortugas. There's Fort Jefferson out there to take a look at. Do you know the history of that fort? It wouldn't be Florida if we didn't talk about the water. And they have an enormous amount of space in the center dedicated to the undersea life that we're trying to preserve here. Well, the terms you might hear is patch reefs. Patch reefs are small uh, reefs that sustain uh, sea life in a smaller area than what you would typically think of a large uh, reef. And they do have a display here talking about it. When I'm down in the Chesapeake Bay, one of the things I often look to is the the underwater grass can tell us how healthy the sea is and the body of water that it lives in. And that's no different down here in the Florida Keys and we see they have a dedicated space that discusses the importance of seagrass in a marine environment. They also have a theater that provides a 20 minute video on marine life in the area and the steps that are being taken to preserve it. Uh, you can go in there for free also. And, uh, about every half hour they play the video uh, when they're open from about 9 or 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You know, it has an underwater lab called Aquarius and they have a simulation of one here that you can uh, take a look in and learn about how they use the underwater lab to learn more about the marine environment. Well, Marine has figured out a new way to uh, create new coral and replant uh, in areas where the coral may be dying. And here we can see some of their work at the Discovery Center.
mobile. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, helps me out a lot. Give the video a thumbs up and ring the bell and you'll be notified every time I put up a new video.